Welcome to another Headless Professor video. This one on data entry for SPSS, Excel, and other statistical spreadsheets. And today we're going to be dealing with the data entry that you would use for ordinal level scaling. In other words, where the data are arranged in terms of different levels or ranks. What we're going to have to do is to trick the statistical program into thinking that it's dealing with numbers because that's what these programs are best at working with. And we really don't have numbers in an ordinal scale. We merely measure in terms of ranks or levels. Ranks, for example, is where we look at our individual cases and we rank them according to some variable. Who came in first, then second, third, fourth, next, and so forth, until we get to last. Now, if you don't remember all the different ranking rules, don't worry about it uh, right now. If we're dealing with levels, there are many different kinds of ordinal scales that we could be referring to. For example, there is the Likert scale that measures our level of agreement with a statement. So the highest level of agreement would be something like totally agree, then mostly agree, mostly disagree, totally disagree. And if we want to put in a uh, fifth point in this uh, Likert scale, we could put something in the middle like neutral, don't know, not sure. We could have a Likert scale with uh, three, four, five, six, seven different kinds of levels. Another way to do a ordinal scale with levels would be a kind of rating like excellent, good, fair, or poor. Here we have four different levels. Excellent, of course, would be the highest rating on the variable, and poor would be the lowest rating on the variable. We can also measure the frequency that a subject engages in a certain kind of behavior. And the frequency could range from always, usually, sometimes, never. So here, always would be the highest measure of the variable, and never would be the lowest, with usually and sometimes being levels in between. We could also measure frequency by daily, weekly, monthly, yearly, or never. This might be appropriate for a variable such as how often do you attend religious services. Now we're going to have to talk about how we take these ordinal level data and put them into numbers on a statistical spreadsheet. In the case of um, a level like excellent, good, fair, poor, we're going to take each of these ratings and change them into a number. Now with excellent, good, fair, poor, we had four different levels. Excellent was the highest. And so we should give the highest number four for the excellent rating, three for a good rating, two for a fair rating, and one for a rating of poor. So if our first person was rated good on this first variable represented by column one, we would put a three for case one and this first variable. If our second person scored excellent, then we would give this person a numerical score of four in this particular cell. When it comes to a variable that has been ranked, we're going to reverse the scoring. Let's suppose we had 10 different cases. We're just looking at the top two. And in these 10 different cases, we ranked each subject on the variable represented by column two. And so our um, K1 
case number two was scoring highest on that particular variable and came in first. And this particular case number one came in last place on that variable and so got a rank of 10th. When it comes to entering numbers into the spreadsheet, we're going to reverse the ranks. That's because this person, our case number two, scored the highest on that particular variable, came in first. And therefore, this person should get the highest numerical score, 10. This person, case one, came in dead last, 10th place out of 10. Therefore, this person should get the lowest score, one, on that particular variable. So if we practice these techniques on ordinal scales, we will find that our correlation coefficients, when they come out of SPSS, make sense and are easier to interpret. So if you like the videos that we're doing here, feel free to contact me. My students have my regular email address, but anyone else can contact me at brink at usa.com.